everybody back to another one of my videos my name is Steph hi welcome today's video is going to be showing you how to make mini donuts in the donut machine um, they're very simple to make they do not need any yeast okay um, and they are very tasty um, the reason I thought I'd make these today is because I did a silent live stream yesterday and I had a picture of lots of donuts and everybody was saying oh I really fancy a donut oh, and it made me want donuts too so I thought I'll make some mini donuts today and um, show you this very simple recipe right let's get cracking this is my little donut machine that my mother-in-law gave me because she never used it so she gave it to me and the kids really like them okay. Little donuts, it makes two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, four, six, eight donuts. I can't count them for a second. Okay, very simple. Okay, you put the donut mixture in and then you close it up. Um, that's which is plain flour. Um, I need a measuring cup. I have my um, butter. I have baking powder, caster sugar, and some skimmed milk Ooh, that we need. Um, also, you can also um, use some vanilla um, in it as well, but I don't think I'll be doing that today. Right, let's get cracking. And you need your bowl and your mixer. First of all, you're going to need your plain flour. Okay. Oh, it went one way. <laughs> plain flour. Plain flour. Right, get your measuring cup. Right, you want one and a half cups of plain flour. Yep. I always make a mess when I do this, so, you know, as you can see. Right, so, tip your flour out, if you can get it out, not having much luck. Anyway, one and a half cups, bung it in your bowl, okay? Right. I'm going to cheat, because it's taking too long. This is how I make a mess. Right, one, bung it in the bowl. North, okay, bung it in the bowl. Right, that's your flour. Next, put the lid on because, like I say, I'm quite messy and I'm bound to knock it over. Caster sugar, and we have half a cup of caster sugar, so get your cup again. Caster sugar. My kids really love these donuts. Um, I want half a cup of caster sugar. Right, half a cup of caster sugar. Bung it in the bowl. Okay, next is the baking powder. Now we've got a little measurer for the baking powder. Okay, because we obviously don't. Oh, tell you what I have forgot. Salt. <laughs> salt, you need salt. Just a little bit, but I did forget to show you that. Anyway, baking powder. Baking powder. Okay, you don't need a huge amount, obviously. You need one and a half teaspoons. So that's my little teaspoon one, okay, so that's one, doing the halves a bit more difficult obviously but you know, that's about right, that's about right, bung in. Okay, so that's your baking flour. Next we have um, your salt, which is what I nearly forgot. I've just got plain old table salt, okay? And we only put in a half a teaspoon of salt, so a very small amount. And probably a little bit too much, so I'm not going to put all that in like that. Just getting it back in the pot is very difficult. Did it? Sort of. 
throw some over your left shoulder. It's unlucky. Right. Get Next, we have our butter. Right, we've got just plain old butter. Right, it's supposed to be soft and butter. Um, this one isn't. This one is reasonably soft, I suppose. Anyway, we need 125 grams of this, so I'm going to get my my um, scales out because doing it in here isn't going to be very easy. So. Bear with me a minute. Right, I have my scales, which is what I got out in the first place. Right, this is me with the back. Right, I've got me, me weigher, okay? We need 125 grams. Do, I always do this so I don't, the batter doesn't stick to the sieve, the, um, the weighing scales in. So I put a little bit of poly rowing, put the margarine on there, it makes it easier to pick up. Plus, you haven't really got a very gunky um, weighing scales afterwards either. Right. Oh, it's very warm today. Um, don't know what it's like there. <laughs> right. Ooh. Can't get hold of it. Right, butter. I need 125 grams, which is a reasonable amount. Okay, that's 100, just a little bit more. Um, they do make quite nice buttery um, donuts, these ones. Right, that's perfect. Right, put your butter away if it's hot, put your butter away because it's going to melt. <laughs> right, so now you've done your butter, you put your butter in your bowl with all the other mixture. Um, don't think I need the scales anymore, so I'm going to move them out the way. Um, what am I missing? I'm just trying to think what I'm missing. Um, I've done, right, um, yeah, one egg. Crack your egg, put it in your mixture. Okay. Get rid of the the shell. Do want the shell in it? Come and wash your hands. Eggs can be a bit dodgy. So. Right, and then next, next we need the milk, and then we can give it a whisk up. Right, so we need a three quarters of a cup of milk. Okay, not meant to get in this milk. Right, we've got three, three quarters of a cup of milk. Okay. Right. I use in semi skin milk, okay. Um, but I suggest you either use semi skin milk or full fat. Um, skin milk's a bit. Um, bit milk watery right tip it in your mixture right now I have all the mixture in in the um, whisker now okay so I have my recapped I have one and a half cup of plain flour a half a cup of caster sugar one and a half table teaspoons of baking powder a half a teaspoon of salt one and a half one point one hundred and twenty five grams of um, soft butter, one egg, and three quarters of a cup of milk, right? All in my bowl. Okay. Um, I would suggest you use electric whisk if you have one. But if you don't, then nothing wrong with a bit of hand uh, whisking by hand, it just takes a bit longer. Right, I'm going to whisk it up. And then um, I'll get back to you in a minute. Right, I've whisked it all up. When the mixture's made, it is quite a thick mixture, okay? It's a bit thicker than a cake mixture, I would say. Okay, make sure that all the butter, there's no butter lumps in it. So give it a good whisk, all right? And then um, I I would have thought, I'm not staying for instance completely, but I would have thought if you haven't got a donut machine, then you probably could fry the mixture, just put a dollop in a bit of bit of um, oil and fry them 
for a little while that's something you can I could try another day but today we're going to be using the my um, mini donut machine so I'm going to plug it in okay to get it hot and then we will get cracking right when the donut machine's ready to be used all the lights come on so you've got the red light and the green light okay it means it's hot as you can see it's smoking okay is it right now what you do you only need a little bit um, is put the donut mixture into the into the um, the little holes don't worry about the mid not about the middle because maybe really the, the donuts anyway like this you usually use about use about two teaspoonfuls of donut mix mixture to each donut donut hole okay They practically start cooking as soon as you put them in. Um, try not to over put over put the mixture in, otherwise they sp spill out. But it doesn't really matter, not really, because they're all going to get eaten, as we know. They don't care as long as they get donuts. Right now, I filled up all the all the little. Um, holes okay and just shut it down and let them cook when they cook they look like that okay now when you take them out just use a spoon try not to scrape oh, scrape the um, machine okay and then dunk them straight in a bowl of caster sugar now you can flavour the bowl of cast sugar with cinnamon, with vanilla, um, what other flavours can you use, whatever other flavours you fancy. This is just vanilla, vanilla sugar and um, yeah they go sort of a nice golden brown okay sort of like that. Put them in your bowl of sugar. Um, it's up to you if you want to put them in sugar. You can also ice them. You can also put them in, um, dunk them in chocolate if you want to, too. Okay? And then just keep going until you've run out of mixture. They do make, like I say, quite quite a lot of donuts, um, which is good when you've got a family like mine because they would eat probably eight on their own, if not more, if I let them. <laughs> um, so carry on until you've used up all your mixture decide whether you're going to ice them or sugar them um, and they are very delicious okay anyway I'm going to show you the ones that I've made up properly um, and and um, Nice for a bit of a treat for the kids. Probably could put, put too much in that one, but anyway. And then just throw it down. And what happens is when it's cooked, the green light goes out, okay? Right, these are the ones I made just a minute ago. You saw me take out. Now, I say put your your sugar in a bowl. With some caster sugar in a bowl. Um, and then just cover your donuts in the sugar. Okay, and they are delicious okay cover them in icing cover them in chocolate um or with some sprinkles on but i'm going to do some plain sugar ones because everybody likes them anyway i hope you enjoyed this video hope you have a nice day um let me know if you make the donuts comment below tell me what you think and I will see you all again in my next video. Bye for now. Bye, boy, 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 boy. Bye, everybody. Bye.